In some versions of Quicken, there is a paycheck wizard, but that was really nothing more than a split transaction, and you can set it up yourself. In fact, I prefer to do it manually because that way I can actually organize the split the way my paycheck is. Now, setting up your paycheck in Quicken is really easy, but before you even attempt to do so, examine your paycheck and look at the different categories you're going to need. You'll likely need to set up some categories for, let's say, your taxes. You'll probably use a parent and subcategory relationship for that for your various, let's say, federal and state taxes. You'll need some insurance categories, and you'll also need a category to represent your gross income. Don't worry about this too much. As you see what's going on later in the tutorial, it all makes sense, and you can sit down and actually set it up on your own probably easiest if you just write down on a sheet of paper what categories you're going to need and then go into the category list and start entering them as needed. For this example, I've already done it. For example, if I look at my taxes, I've already set up my federal tax. And if you need to mark these as tax related, do so and apply the correct line item as needed. Now I'm going to cancel out of this and I've already set up all my different categories. So I'll close the category list window. And the first thing I want to do is start creating my transaction. And this is going to be a scheduled transaction. So I'll click on the schedule and create a new scheduled transaction. If you're not familiar with setting up scheduled transactions, they're really easy. Take a look at my other tutorial regarding them. But what I really need to do is just change the schedule to when I get paid. I get paid every two weeks. So I'll use the every two weeks option. And I get paid on Thursday. It's one payday around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and ends never and I see the start date well I got paid yesterday so I'm gonna change this series and back it up a date because we're entering the uh, paycheck I got yesterday and notice 918 that's when the series starts just click on the X to close the, close the scheduler then I'll tab over and enter my employer and I'll enter my amount of my net pay I'm gonna sign this as a positive fifteen hundred dollars then click on the split icon. The order of the split child lines is going to vary from user to user, but for most people, the first line is going to be what the gross income is. And I'll set this up as income salary. And I got $3,000 gross this month. And just start tabbing through and start adding your other various deductions. For example, my federal taxes. That was $275. And my Social Security taxes. And so on. Just keep tabbing through and adding the various child lines. To save some time, I've gone through and entered all the different child lines. And I'm just finishing up here. And I'm going to make my last one is my 401 contribution. Investment 401k. And that's actually a transfer over to that account, so we'll put that account's name there. And I'm done. One thing to note here is that in the beginning I pointed out that I had to sign that amount. That's because there was no category associated with this when I created the split. But once you sign that first amount, whether or not the, the category is income or expense, these amounts will automatically sign. You're not going to have to manually do that. Everything's set up, and I click Save. I'm going to select another transaction. And if you notice, this the, my paycheck has not yet been marked as paid. It was a scheduled transaction I set up. That makes sense. So what I want to do is select it. And if I want to enter it exactly as is, which I do because I just entered it for what the paycheck was yesterday, I click on Deposited. And it will be posted. Notice the clock icon disappears. And it is now in a solid black. It's no longer in the light gray. That's really all there is to it. They're really easy to set up. One last thing I'll point out, and this is more scheduled transaction behavior, is that let's look forward to the October instance. I select this. Whenever you click this deposited icon with scheduled transactions, that posts the scheduled transaction exactly as is. It doesn't give you any option to edit. And it, if you're a salaried person, that probably works out great because you just click on it and it's, your paycheck is uh, posted. But let's say you need to uh, edit it, you're an hourly employee, just double click on the scheduled transaction, choose the mark as paid, and that'll take you to the transaction where you can start going through and changing all the child lines as needed.